everybody, it's Jazzy Horse Girl 101, and um, today I'm doing a haul video um, of some horses that I got this year. Um, I haven't done a haul video in a while, and plus I see everyone doing their Briarfest haul videos, and it makes me sad that I didn't go to Briarfest. So I decided to share with you guys um, just some horses that I've been purchasing on eBay and or the Briar store website. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna hop right into it and just start showing you my ponies. Um, so the first horse I got this year, um, it was like in the beginning of the year, um, is the Briarfest 2016 uh, Special Run uh, Sheila. Um, the Working Cow Pony mold. I don't know if that's the actual mold, but that's what I'm calling it. Um, so yeah, this is her and she's really pretty. Um, I'm really happy I picked her up. Um, she was, like, I only buy things on eBay if they go for a decent price. And she's gorgeous. She has a cute face. Um, she has a scratch there and then a scratch, like a little rub up here on her cheek. But other than that, she's pretty good condition. Um, I really love her ombre tail. It's so pretty. Anyways, um, so yeah, that's her and not much else to say about her other than she's really pretty. She does have a little smudge on her nose too, um, so. But other than that, she's really, really nice. I do recommend getting her because she's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, that's her. Uh, the next horse I got was one of my grails. Um, it is Cheveo. Uh, the, I guess this, I don't know. Is this the Mustang mold? I don't know. I'm not good with naming molds, but um, he is absolutely gorgeous. Really good quality. Um, no flaws that I can see. Um, he has the most cutest, gorgeous face ever. Very, very pretty horse. Um, his dorsal stripe is in the center of his back, which is always a good thing. Um, he has very faint uh, striping, which is how I like the striping to be. I don't like it to be in your face. I like it to be very subtle, which his is. Um, and yeah, he is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, beautiful shading. So yeah, I'm really happy with him. And uh, like I said, he was one that I wanted for a long time. He's one of my grails. So I was happy to pick him, see him for a decent price and get him. So yeah. Um, the next horse I got was um, not an eBay purchase. He was a collector club horse because I am a member of the collector club and the stalemate club. But uh, it's the best suit I think it was um, horse that we got to uh, pick the best color. Um, the Briarfest before, so in 2018, we got to pick the color, and I actually chose this color. Um, but I actually wanted the loose mane and tail version, but I ended up getting the braid and mane and tail version, but that's okay. Um, he's not my favorite horse, just because his dappling's a little funny. Um, it's kind of patchy and just not very good. So, um, he's not my favorite horse in my collection, but he's still pretty. Um, I just wish he didn't have dappling at all. I would love it if he just didn't have any dapples. <laughs> then they wouldn't be so messed up, but, um, yeah, you can see his face. He has cute markings, and his shading's nice, it's just his dapples are just weird. Um, but his tail's nice, I like the ombre going on there. Yeah, that's him. Um, I'm just gonna do all my traditionals. I'm not really gonna go in order of when I purchase them anymore, but, um, the next horse I got was very recently. Um, she is the Briarfest 2019 30th Anniversary Special Run, uh, Diana. And she is so pretty. Her shading's gorgeous. Um, I got her pretty decent price for secondhand. Um, usually horses, Special Run horses are super expensive. She is the loose mane and tail version. Um, I like the braided mane and tail version and it's one I want to get eventually. I actually want the gray uh, special run from a couple years ago um, of the braided version of this Roxy mold, but um, 
the braided man and tail versions were more expensive and yeah I just didn't feel like paying that much money for them. so um, I picked her up because she had the cutest face and like I said I wasn't able to attend Briarfest so I was kind of sad but um, she's really one of the only special runs I liked um, I didn't really like the horses this year um, but yeah that's just my opinion but I did like her so yeah that's her. Moving on. So the next horse I got is um, also an eBay purchase. It is this custom uh, Ab Abaroso, I think. Mini Abaroso. Um, I'm terrible at pronunciation, so I'm sorry if I'm butchering all these names. But anyways, um, he is super, super pretty. He has gorgeous shading. His markings are very nice. Um, he's painted very, very well. He's really, really pretty. The artist initials are either M-O-J-O or M-O-T-O. I can't really tell, but he has it on his belly. I don't know what artist that is exactly, but that's who painted him. Um, the next are all Steelmate Club horses. Um, so yeah, they were all from the from Briar themselves. So the first horse, released horse, was this guy. Um, I ended up with the glossy version. He was split uh, glossy and matte. So I picked him up and he is glossy and he is gorgeous. I love this horse and I love this color on this mold. Um, this is one of the newer molds. So yeah. Uh, the next release was, um, I think it's Guinevere. I think that's who what the name is um and she came all glossy so there was no surprise there um so but she does have a very nice pearly uh, mane and tail and she is just really really pretty yeah she has very nice shading and everything so i'm really happy with her i think the stewmate club is doing pretty good with their horses this year but um, the next horse was a new mold, and it is, uh, Grayson, I believe. And he is super pretty. I really like this mold. Um, I wish he had a little bit more shading. Um, he's kind of plain in the shading department, but, um, this mold's really pretty. Yeah, there's not much else to say about him. Um, they didn't really pink his nose, which I think they should have done that. His nose is just kind of white. I guess it does have a little pinking. It's just really hard to tell. But, um, yeah. That's all I can say about him. Uh, the final horse in the Stillmate Collector Club that I've gotten, um, there's still two more releases, um, after this guy. But, um, this was the Gambler's Choice Pony. Highland Pony, I think it is. And I ended up with the Decorator. Um, this is the first decorator that I own. I don't have any other decorators, so, um, I don't really collect decorators, so I was kind of like, when I was, um, ordered him, or her, ordered her, him, her, um, I wanted any of them but the decorator, um, but once I opened up the box and I saw her, I'm like, oh no, I got the decorator, but then when I got her out and looked at her, I thought she was really, really cool. Um, she's kind of like a galaxy looking horse, and I'm actually probably going to keep her because she's really a very pretty decorator, I think. Um, and she's my only decorator now, so <laughs> yay! Um, I'm probably not going to start collecting decorators at all because they're just not my thing, but I'm probably going to keep her just because she's actually really cute. Um, so yeah, my first ever decorator. And she's really, really pretty. I love the dark, like, the shade of purple. And then, like, just, she's just really cool. She's like a, like I said, she looks kind of like a galaxy horse. So, yeah, that is my haul for 2019 so far. Um, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And see ya!